The cities in Ramsey County are divided into precincts to administer elections. Voters have a specific polling place based on the precinct where they live. While most polling places are located within the precincts they serve, some are located outside the boundaries of a precinct. A few polling places serve voters from two or more precincts. Polling places must meet standards established in state and federal law and are visited annually by Ramsey County election staff to ensure these standards are met. Election judges must arrive at their polling place by 6 a.m. Voting must begin at 7 a.m. If you are not able to get into the polling place on time, call the elections hotline. If the building remains locked, the ALJ can provide an emergency voting kit so voting begins on time. Upon arrival on election day, take a minute to introduce yourselves to each other. The head judge will administer the election judge oath to the group before beginning the polling place setup. The oath form and all others referenced in this video is located in the green folder. Upon completing the oath, each judge must sign the form. All judges should complete and wear a name tag. Judges from different major political parties need to be paired when performing certain duties in the polling place. The election judge roster will assist the head judge in determining which judges can be paired. Please refer to the polling place reference guide for the list of these duties. Most polling place supplies are delivered prior to election day. The delivery location is listed on the polling place information sheet. The head judge will bring the poll pads, Wi-Fi device, and non-registered roster on election morning. Confirm that all supplies are for your precinct. Some polling locations contain two or more precincts, and it is important to separate supplies for each precinct. Follow the instructions on the form titled Checklist, Opening the Polls. The head judge will assign tasks to the precinct judges. The Wi-Fi device should be set up by the assistant head judge as early as possible. Contact the elections office immediately if the device is not working. When setting up the polling room, consider the flow of traffic as voters move through the voting process. Voters meet the greeter judge, proceed to the poll pad judge to determine if they are registered or are voted by absentee ballot. Non-registered voters move on to the registration judge, and all voters go to the ballot judge and then on to the voting booths before casting their ballot into the ballot counter and collecting their I Voted sticker. Set up the ballot marking device in the voting area, ensuring the voter has privacy when using the device. The ballot counter should be set up near the exit of the polling room. The head judge is responsible for the setup and opening of the ballot counter. Other judges will be required to assist with its setup and the certification of the zero tape. Using the blue tape, mark off a six foot privacy perimeter. Only voters casting their ballots are allowed in this perimeter. Once tables, chairs, and equipment have been set up, look over the space to ensure voters using walkers or wheelchairs can move freely throughout the room. The head judge should distribute the poll pads to the poll pad judges for setup. As equipment is set up, complete the corresponding certification forms. Open the ballot transfer case and check in the ballots. The assistant head judge is responsible for setting up the registration table. Post the polling place signs. Your polling place is provided with a sign bag containing all the signs that need to be posted throughout the polling room and building. Using the directional signs, visibly mark the route from the entrance of the building to the voting room. If the accessible entrance is different from the primary entrance, mark this route as well. Refer to the polling place information sheet to see if you need to mark voter parking only and accessible parking spots. If you are required to add signage for parking, the signs will be included with your supplies. At certain locations, municipal public works departments will have already marked on-street parking for voters. Assemble the voting booths. Provide electricity to each by plugging the power cord from the first one into the next booth and so on until the cord from the last booth is plugged into a power source. You will also need at least one table and chair for voters who prefer to sit while voting. Place one voting booth on the table and have the chair positioned so it can be used if needed, but easily moved aside if any voters are using wheelchairs. 
Additional chairs should also be set up for voters who choose to mark their ballot using a clipboard rather than waiting in line for a voting booth. Using the blue tape, mark off a six-foot privacy perimeter around the voting area. This area includes the ballot marking device, voting booths, and tables used by voters to mark ballots. This designates the area that only voters and persons assisting voters can enter. Using a cell phone, the hedge edge should establish the official time. At 7 a.m., place the Vote Here sign and the U.S. flag outside the main entrance. The polling place is now ready and open for voting.